Hey guys, this is Exclusive Designs here, and um, I wanted to thank everyone for staying updated with my channel, giving me subscribers, and everything. Um, for those who are asking for intros, um, I want to apologize for being a little bit late. I've been extremely busy with school, so I thought I'd make this tutorial on how to make an extremely cool 3D texture and then this background that people a lot of people ask for the never ending background that goes on as a full gradient so um let's get started so first off what we want to do is we want to make the text so go to MoGraph and insert Mo text and then make it centered I'm just going to label it tutorial I'm going to put about 200 def on it, and then I'm going to go to a font, Batman Forever, which you can get at thefont.com. So, and I just want to leave that one exactly the same, and I want to copy and paste it with Control c and then Control v to paste. So, go to that text, make the def 50, and then add, um, go to caps and make it fillet cap, and make the radius... 10 centimeters for both and then you want to go press the little button and you want to go to the top view and you want to drag it back a little bit and you want to copy that one and you want to paste it and you want to drag it back a little more so you'll pretty much get like a triple layered text <coughs> which looks really cool and then what you want to do is you want to make the materials or load them if you already used my other tutorial which I made not too long ago. So there's the Danelle texture which is at the beginning and then there's the icy blue texture. These go really good with um, this tutorial or these texts. It's it's really cool combination. So um to go to that tutorial that I made earlier just click on the link right around here and um so for the Danelle texture I want to make my speculars more of a blue so I'm gonna make that 185 for both specular 2 and specular 3 and then now I have that what you want to do is you want to drag the Danelle onto the original texture and you want to click on that tag and you want to make the projection cubic and then you want to go to icy blue and you want to drag that onto the two text um that are not the original obviously and you want to um select both of those tags and make those cubic as well and um now you get this really cool looking texture now what i do is i insert a light and i go to my top view and I drag it to the left, just barely outside the text and barely in front of it. And then I copy and paste that. And then I drag that one back and a little further left. So it'll give it like a cool um, angular like light effect. And then I, um, I copy each light individually and I drag it all the way across to almost make it symmetrical. And um, then I select all of those lights I go to the right view and I drag them up above the text and then I insert a normal light in the middle of the text I drag it back a little bit and then I drag it down so I get the underneath the text and if you like you could make this a null by hitting alt and G and then you can rename it lights so you can just select them all by one. So anyways, you get this really cool looking text effect. So to get the never ending background that people ask for, people always try to stretch this thing out as far as they possibly can. And all this does is, is nothing. Because if they go as far as they possibly can, there's always going to be a line that, oh god, that didn't work. 
then there's always going to be a never like there's going to be one spot where the margin ends and it won't be never ending it'll stop so to fix that what you could do is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make these 500 just get a basic square and I'm going to drag this down just as far as I can I can leave it up here I can put it down there just wherever almost uh, pretty much out of the screen so you want to make a new texture by double clicking you want to go to that texture you want to uncheck specular you want to go to the color tab go to texture make it gradient then you want to click on that and you want to make the type 2d circular and then you want to click on the black texture double click on it and then make it a dark gray about low 20s and then you want to make this one an even darker gray so about 8 and you'll get this really cool gradient circular tab you can make this white blue green red whatever color you want whatever you prefer I'm just going to use a dark grayish black for this one so then you close that out then you drag that onto your plane and then you go to the light section and you insert a background drag that same texture onto the background then click on the plane texture tab make the projection frontal then you want to click on the plane go to tags cinema 4d tags and compositing and make everything here in this section check including compositing background so now if you render out your screen you get this really cool texture setup text and the really cool background that makes it the never-ending color so then you go to your render settings and you want to go to output and make it 1280 by 720 to get a 720p HD um, HD selection or if you'd like it to do 1080p you can make the width 1920 and the height 1080 but I prefer 1280 by 720 because with the um with the 1920 by 1080 it makes the render times a lot longer <coughs> so when you go to multi-pass you want to check that on right click on it and hit add image layers right click it again hit add material layers and right click one more time and add depth and you'll get all these things that you don't need to do anything to so it'll just make the picture look better and you want to minimize that then you want to go to anti-aliasing and make geometry and make it best and then you want to go to effect and insert ambient occlusion and make it five percent to about ten percent i'm going to do about seven and you want to go to effect and do global illumination and make ir still image to ir plus qmc still image this will make the image have a way cooler effect but the problem is if you're going to do a video the render times are going to be really slow so it could take up to 20 plus hours if you're doing a 200 frame video so my suggestion if you're going to make a video I'd uncheck both of these and make your own personal global illumination and to do that you want to go to this section and you want to go to the top view and you want to click the freehand spline and you want to draw a little squiggly line all the way across to the under end of, of the object or text or whatever you're using. And then you want to insert another light. Make the intensity 25%. And then you want to insert, go to MoGraph and insert a cloner. Then go to Mode and make it an object. And then you want to drag the spline, or no, you want to drag the light as a child of the cloner. And you want to go back to cloner and drag the spleen as the object and then when you do that you want to go to distribution and make it even so you get an evenly global illumination effect click on the spline and make it um, uneditable by clicking on these um, 3d shapes so you can move it up and down and then you want to scroll over them both alt G make it a null and then label it global illumination and now you can drag that up and down a lot of people go under under they can go up top they can go to the middle I'm going to go to the middle drag it a little bit back and then if you look at it you get a really cool 
global illumination effect without the full forever rendering times. So, thanks guys for watching this tutorial. Um, please keep updated with my videos. Um, make sure to check out the other videos that I've made on my channel. Um, please subscribe and like. This has been Exclusive Designs. Peace.